setting things up. Do I sound okay? Oh, yeah. damn, I can't see the Twitch chat. Oof. What else can I? Okay, Quick, hopefully... make an overlay. Hopefully my... Stream is okay. On the Twitch chat. Mm -hmm. Well, on... Ah, uh, looks okay to me. It doesn't have a Twitch chat immediately bad. It doesn't have a... T does, it, does it have what? It doesn't have a Twitch chat overlay. It doesn't? It should. Or are you looking at the Discord? Yeah, I'm looking at the Discord. Oh, the Discord is just streaming my game, so... I've got that. Alright, hold on, let me open Twitch. <laughs> on my phone. Alright, what's the time? To so give time. the Dropbox one last look. It's mm -hmm. 9.59 according to my watch. Yeah. There's been a surprising lack of last minute submissions, actually. Hey, Mr. Puzzle. You people went easy on me. <laughs> This is awful. <laughs> I can is? hear everyone double now. Oof. Okay, it's time. <laughs> time to start the stream. Oh, well, not start the stream. Time to start viewing the results. No last minute solves, uh, Zorflax? Uh, no last minute solves. Alrighty, let's start then. So... This is the puzzle this week, Horn Silver. You want to talk about yourself, Zorflex? Uh, not yourself, your puzzle, Zorflex? Uh, oh yeah, uh, I've not the layout. Um, mm -hmm. it, looks, it, lo it looks kind of innocuous at first, kind of looks friendly. You know, or you look at it and you're like, okay, let's just uh, purify the copper, disperse the quintessence, bond them, bundle the salt together, Bob to your uncle. But, not as simple as it looks. Um, I, I really like this one for some because um, I think I got the idea when I was trying to sum optimize proof of completeness earlier when everyone was like clanning on me when I said it was optimal. <laughs> and uh, I noticed that the glyph of dispersion was a really quick way to complicate some optimization in general. So I kind of wanted to explore that idea with Horn Silver. And the trackless instruction thing was, uh, I, it, was a, it, was a, it was a fancy new metric, and this puzzle proved to be quite non-trivial with, um, you know, with trackless, uh, with, yeah, with trackless instruction. So, very, we got some, we got some really cool results. I'm keen to get through them. Yeah. So we want to, st uh, want to start with the uh, some results first. Uh, yeah, we'll start, we can start with some. Okay, okay, first of all, I gotta turn off the timer, be right back. <laughs> Alrighty, should be back. Okay, let's start. The first one, uh, the first solution should be by... Cuckoo fifty two. Let's see. Wait, is it in here? Ah. Uh, <laughs> is it? Wait, who's Nicole five four eight? Is it this one? Uh that was a new player. No, oh, that's in yeah, it. Oh. No, uh, hmm. no, it doesn't seem to be in here. Uh, have a, uh, should be called Cuckoo 52, or just Cuckoo 52 Horn Moon or something. Oh, wait, Horn Moon? Oh, I'm bad at finding the solves. Oh, here we go. 
So this is technically not their best solve in some, but we wanted to show this anyways. The better solve is on TI, so. <laughs> some of you might recognize this person from the Reddit. They make all these long track loop solves. I had I had no idea until <laughs> I was told. I uh, I thought Stephen posted this under a pseudonym or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking <laughs> of Stephen, <laughs> we do have a Stephen solve. So I'll be getting to that next. Wait, do I have the Stephen solve downloaded? I should have. <laughs> Wait, I don't. Uh, no, I don't think I have. Oh, God, I don't think I have the Steven solves. I should have downloaded them. Weird. But yeah, ouch. Who solve is this again? Oh, uh, that was Cuckoo, this is Cuckoo, 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 Cuckoo Fifty Two. This is not their best sum solve, but we decided to show this one instead since the other was performing better in trackless instructions. It was their coolest. It was their coolest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, if you want a really quick way to rack up your cost metric, a lot of pistons on a huge track is a very good way to do it. Mm, yeah. Anyways, next up is... Uh, Dara7, which is a new contestant, and they're, they've placed 16th place with a sum of... Yeah, this is... With this a sum of 65. Um, we've got quite a few new contestants, which is really cool. I'm very heartened. Mm -hmm. So, a bit mu many bonders and tracks and pistons for a sum solve, but it's a good first solve. This one has a pretty cool bonding method, actually. Um, mm -hmm. And also in general, a lot of people ended up approaching the bonding of the actual product very differently. So yeah. it's interesting to see how diverse that all was. Oh, they, they debonded the silver from the salt. Oh, yeah. Uh, huh. <laughs> that seems a bit extra. When I was solving I this, I, when I was solving this, I always like, well, if I could debond the silver, that would simplify this. But also, that seems like heresy because it's bonded already. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I do like the uh, I do like the the multi bonder. I know it's not the cheapest, but it is very satisfying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, the shape works out really well for that. But yeah, next up is Chimera at 585 sum. So if I can find I that. I got the sum numbers there with you. Hmm? You got the sum numbers there. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Solutions are so hard to find. I get how Brookie feels now. <laughs> there we go, 585. Here it's uh, another solve with pistons. Kind of slow, but it's much cheaper. Uh, where are we? Yeah, this one, had, this one actually had quite a good cost area, but, um, yeah, mm -hmm. the only thing holding it back really was its speed on this one. Yeah. Loop length is a bit long. Yeah, also, it also, also kind of shows how painful the uh, glyph of dispersion can be. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's hard to reach everything that's really the main enough. thing holding this up. Yeah. The, how's, the, how's the bit rate for everyone on Twitch? I'm I'm behind, and Hollow Jasper is way behind. Oh, oof. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I'm know. visually a bit behind myself. Oof. I don't know how if I can how I can fix that on <laughs> currently. It might just be that my internet is slow. Unfortunately. Oh, shit. Yeah. Maybe it'll be better if y'all watch the Discord stream. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, <laughs> right. That, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll watch. Mm. We'll watch the Discord stream and not the Twitch stream. Yeah. Are you streaming on Vice? Oh, you are streaming on Vice. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Next up would be Nicole five four eight four three with a sum of five seventy nine. Go. Oh, no tracks. Cycles is also the seems also seems to be a limiting factor for the solve. Uh, is this Brick Boy? Hmm? Who are we up to? Sorry, I oh, dropped out. Nicole. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah a lot of pistons on this one. Mhm. Mm oh yeah, pistons are expensive too. So expensive in both cost and it's also not the fastest solution. But relatively simple. Hmm, I wonder if it could be. Like you say, it's not the fastest. Fastest, I think it is the slowest we have on hand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I wonder. This if one had a yeah. I wonder if interestingly this high instruction count can be like moved in and. I wonder if the, oh, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's this solve. Next one would be by Britboy with an uh, improvement of two sum metrics points at 550, 577. Let's see. Yeah, this one's on like the opposite end of the spectrum, being expensive yeah. but fast. Almost looking like a cycle solve. Let me try to find it. Here. Ooh, yeah. I see there are no longer and no pistons anymore. <laughs> well, let me check how it balls. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's, I think there's one that goes down there. The... Hmm? <laughs> yeah, I think you're going to notice over the course of these solves, uh, a lot of people kind of toying around trying to get the balance right between cost and cycles and all that. Yeah. It's always it's... tricky with some. Mm hmm. This one's a bit more on the expensive. Yeah, this one's more on the expensive side, but it's fast enough to beat the previous solution. I like how quickly it bonds the horn silver. It's really cool to watch, yeah. isn't it? It's a cool pipeline. Mm -hmm. Also, a hidden Critelli over there. <laughs> Oh, actually, it's a pretty good Cartelli now that I look at it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next up would be username void with the sum of 551. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> Lots of hex okay, arms. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one had the most hex arms. Lots and lots of... even more than TI solutions? Or for some? Oh, no, but, uh, among, among the some solutions. Uh, I think the TI ones had more hex arms, actually. It does make sense, actually, since the dispersion glyph it works pretty well with hex arms, honestly. Uh, you'll be surprised at the lack of hex arms, actually, as we hmm. go down the list. Yeah, I guess they are slightly a bit, uh, a bit more too expensive, though. 
Oh, yeah, oh, they're usually very good for some. I think it, it does depend on the puzzle a little. It's just so, there, there are just some puzzles where the hex arm proves more useful than others. I think it. Yeah. I think there's a relationship between that and like single atom regents or inputs. I think that's when hex arms become really useful with some. Yeah. Yeah. But with this arm, because you'll notice almost everyone grabs the regent with a single arm. Oh, how. Uh. How the solution bonds all the salts to the stick kind of reminds me how I did my TI solve. <laughs> we'll get to that in. We'll get to that one later. Okay, next up would be Fyandir with a sum of 543. Let's see if I can find that. Here we go. I'm a bit expensive looking for a sum solve. Not too dissimilar from Brit Boys, actually. Yeah. I guess I'm guessing At least this the stats. wasn't as optimized as it could be. Or maybe Finder isn't I, uh, just isn't that good at well sum solves. I uh, I noticed this uh, over uh, so I I, I kind of crunch the numbers on this one. Over a quarter of the cost comes from bonders and non-bonders alone. Oh, oof. There are a lot of bonders and non-bonders on this one. Yeah. Yeah, I can see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11. 11 bonders <laughs> plus unbonders. Wow. Can I actually comment on this one? Uh, I started out with a 47 cycle solve on this for like double the cost or something. Oh, wow, and 47. Got down a bit on it. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of a psycho guy. Yeah. That's why it's fast and expensive. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Yeah. Okay, next up. Oh, no. yeah, we, almost, we almost made one of the metrics throughput, actually. That was <laughs> yeah, that was the original the idea, but like, since mm -hmm. ratio is only one to one, the... I... I found t, uh, t plus i to be a better metric, since throughput would be a bit easy. Yeah, throughput would have come down to secondaries. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up is Monster Racer, and we'll be dropping in some all the way down to 488 now. Monster... Also, congratulations on 10th place. Alright, we are on top 10 now. Even if top 10 isn't as difficult to achieve currently, with the amount of players we have. Top 10 to top 10? Top 10 to <laughs> top 10. I'm still seeing a lot of monster race. bonders and unbonders. Sorry? You... I thought Monster Race's decision to grab the quintessence and then debond the copper first was quite quirky. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because it makes the actual putting the quintessence in the dispersion easier, but you can see the debonding itself a bit more of a challenge. You've yeah. got those arms in the top left, mm -hmm. kind of single use arms. Yeah. Oh, yeah, lots of empty space. Empty space, the uh, empty spaces in the instruction tape, and some isn't too that good of a sign. This one also has a good cycle count. Mm, yeah. A lot of good cycle count. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how a cycles metric would work in this puzzle. <laughs> it's a one to one yeah. throughput, but at latency, it's probably pretty really difficult. Yeah, I yeah, did I think it's Sorry. I did toy around with the idea of somehow getting two inputs like side by side, so you had adjacent coppers oh. instead of having copper on the other sides, but I couldn't get that to work very good. But maybe that would come up in a cycle solve to help lower latency. Yeah, maybe. Do them in pairs. Okay, next up is another new contestant, uh, YXWEB. At, with a sum of 463. 
Yeah, I thought this one was an interesting submission. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, three, uh, three arms on track loops. Huh. <laughs> mm, I believe this is the cheapest and the smallest solve that we got. Oh, wow. And this one actually does quite remind me a bit of what Chimera tried to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, I think where this one improves on Chimera's approach of the lack of pistons, yeah. uh, I think there actually ended up being slightly less track on this one. Mm -hmm. And the, there isn't like any significant idle time. See so the the work is nicely evenly distributed between the three arms. Yeah. Yeah, not much em but it yeah, does only a tiny bit of empty space in the instructions tape. But it does raise the question of whether three arms was enough for some. Mm -hmm. Or at least enough to get up to the top. It was enough for a good solve. Yeah. I think this is I think we're into the good yeah, solve already. Is this is starting to look like a sum solve. <laughs> But yeah, moving on, we have Communist Mountain, just one sum score better at 462. That's a bit of an oof. <laughs> That's how sum is. Like, if I can find the solution. Uh, I think it's just called Mountain or Sum Mountain. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember seeing it just say Mountain, but like I'm having difficulty finding that as well. Oh, well, here we go. More hex arms. <laughs> that's that's a lot of arms. Well, yeah, yeah, that is a lot of arms. It's, I'm surprised this is actually better in some than the previous solve. I'm guessing it's fast enough. How many arms we got? Uh, about eight arms. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's not too many considering there really isn't that much track on this one mm, at all. Yeah. Oh, I like how it uh, bonds in the salts on the horn silver with just one hex arm. And, well, arm 8 up there, handing in the other elements. Yeah, these are pretty good hex arms. A lot more empty instruction tape, though. Yeah, the idle time's probably the big thing that hurts this one, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. Okay. Next step would be... Which may come as a surprise to many people. Goodbye, Galaxy. Mm. <laughs> At 4.45 some. I think it's called GG some. Yeah, GG. It should be this one, right? What? Yep. Hey, you're just commenting on how the last one had a lot of arms. I believe this one <laughs> has even more arms. It's got a shorter, shorter cycle loop, though. It does, yeah. And not as many... Bonder glyphs. Well, actually, I don't remember how many the last one had. But yeah, yeah, this one also has quite a bit of arms. And not many, and no hex arms, <laughs> apparently. With just one calcification. I believe glyph. this. I believe outside of Cuckoo 52s at the beginning, I believe this was the fastest one that we got in. Hmm. What, weren't there another, wasn't there another one that's fast? Oh wait, no, that's Finder saying that he made a even faster solve. Yeah. So 
Okay, maybe, yeah, alright. But yeah, now we get to see which people actually beat Goodbye Galaxy. Okay, uh, next up would be Voidify at 439, which actually tied with yeah, Haxton. Yeah, we've been like... With actually tied in Haxton on some, but like, I don't think I have that solved here right now. Oh wait, no, it is. Oh wait, yeah, let's check out Haxton's first then. We had a sum tie? Ooh, a sum uh, primary a tie. Te technically no, because Haxton's was a yeah. showcase. Yeah, this is if oh. technically oh. competing, would have been a tie. Oh yeah, we're currently at, well, we're currently between 7th and 6th place right now. But yeah, with a sum of 439, this would tie with Modify, which would be, which is going to be the next one solve. Hmm. You might have been bouncing around the Parade Frontier quite a lot. Mm. I think from here on in, it's going to start settling in. Yeah. So you're going to see what the uh, appropriate ratios are going <laughs> to be from here on out. Mm-hmm. Next up is Voidify, also at 439, but with a faster solve, since Tiebreaker is uh, Cycles, I think. Yeah, it should be Cycles. Whoa. I like the bonding sequence. This one sequence. has a very nice... Mm, this one's a very nice Cratelli. Well, <laughs> oh yeah, nice, yeah, nice Cratelli. <laughs> so this one, um, this one also grabs the uh, quintessence and deep bonds the copper first, but it handles very, it handles that challenge quite differently with like a lot of pivoting at the beginning mm. with your deep bonding. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is a lot of pivoting. So and it's also interesting board. to note. It's also interesting that this was the best performing soul that grabs the quintessence first okay. from the region. Okay. That was something I wasn't expecting to be so diverse. Uh, it was the question of which atom to grab first when you're grabbing the region itself. Which it ended up being expected? a surprisingly important decision. <laughs> we'll see in the I don't think a lot then. of people would have thought very much. Mm -hmm. mm. But yeah, congratulations on Voidify for getting 6th place with a sum of 439. And coming up next, Biggie Mac with a sum of 435. Oh, oh shoot. Voidify, I think you could have gotten ahead of Biggie with a save. Day 1 sum. If yeah, I only I built some on day one, and then I built another that was two some points worse, worse that was very different. Mm -hmm. But I, I didn't feel like I had a bunch of great options because the dispersion glyph is so awkward. I am very proud though that I made six pivots in a row be useful in this solution. Six six <laughs> pivots. Wait, let me see. Wait, what? <laughs> arm six. Look at arm six. And how it delivers the punch. It basically draws a circle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just scoops up the Orr. scoops up the silver and salt over there. <laughs> nice. So one thing, one thing that was very unusual about Biggie's is that oh, we're talking about how Void if I grabbed the quintessence. Biggie was one of only two people to grab the silver, oh, which I didn't think anyone would do. Makes for a very unusual debonding sequence as well. Uh mm -hmm. Yeah, and I had the initial one grabbing the quintessence actually, and I found a small improvement before I even submitted it by changing how the arms broke down the work in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But yeah, congratulations, um, Biggie Mac, for getting fifth place. Next up is another new player, Ebonov, at 426 sum. Kind of big drop too. Four twenty six. Ooh, compact. <laughs> really compact. Mm hmm. This was a really compact solve. 
Ebenov, yeah. Is Ebenov a newcomer? Because this would be yeah. really impressive placement. <laughs> if so. Maybe they're only just a newcomer to the tournaments and have been playing like for a while. Mm. Cause yeah, they do have pretty impressive impl placements. They beat Biggie. <laughs> <It's>, yeah. <laughs> Well, it's, it's funny, you look at that big swing at the bottom, you think that chews through area, yeah. but the top half is like so compact that mm -hmm. it ends up, he still ends up getting away with a decent area score. Yeah, there's even a piston. There's a piston in a sumsol. Which is pretty interesting. You a piston too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, this is an interesting sumsol. You might notice, uh, I think Ebenovs is the first that we've seen grab the regent by the copper. Um, I'll let you know now, he won't be the last. Mm. Oh, I'm guessing that's really important, huh? It ends up being surprisingly helpful. Mm -hmm. and, well, congratulations to Ebenov for fourth place. Next up is Spec 98 with a sum of 423. Yeah, well done. I'm taking home the bronze. <laughs> this one, this one. This one's actually, this, is the one, this was one of my favorites because this one's really kind of simple. I really like the simplicity of this one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Arm 2 is doing a lot of work. Handle I really me. like, um... Sorry. Oh, uh, you can go first. Uh, I really like the, uh, the pivoting that he does to bond the first few elemental atoms to the silver here in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a very deft pivoting. I like how many things Arm 2 does. It hands up, hands the quintessence, it purifies, it also hands over an air atom. It's doing a lot of job work. Yeah. Oh, this one's yeah, actually that's, that's a very good hex arm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's still grabbing by the salt, huh? Hmm. Okay. Moving on. We have another showcase solve by Panic with a 411 sum. This yeah, was I think one Panic of the solve. Uh, hand it some before he got himself spoiled. This was one of the uh, solves that we've been working on in our group chat in preparation for this weekly. Panic originally had a four. Well, Panic had a four twenty one solve, and Zorflax turned it into a four twenty one. <laughs> but then Panic optimized it down to four eleven here. But yeah, this would have placed third place if Panic had a scoring solve. Yeah, I do remember Panic was always, he, he remained unhappy with Arm 5 at the top. Mm. He was hoping to get Moise out of that one, but like, if that's the biggest blemish, then <laughs> that's still a very good sum soul. Yeah. And moving on in second place, we have Flame Haze. Which also means... Congratulations, Mr. Puzzle. <laughs> you went first. What? <laughs> oh, I did it! Is, is that Wait, your first? Wait, what sum was this? This one is uh, uh, 407. I, 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 this is still over 400. Oh, okay. So you wanna know what? I sat at 403 for such a long time. 
<laughs> and then I and then and then I dropped it, and I was like, "Oh man, I hope I'm competitive." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you trounced it. You trounced mm -hmm. it. All right, yeah. yeah. I really like flame hazes though here as well. Yeah. This one was kind of vaguely reminiscent of what um, YX Web and Chimera were trying to do, oh, yeah. but with the Just... crucial addition of the fourth arm, mm -hmm. ended up making a world of difference. Yeah. So I really, the, what I really like about this one is the kind of division of labor between the four arms has kind of been split perfectly. Mm -hmm. So you can get away with quite high, uh, we can, you can get away with surprisingly low cycle count considering he's only got four arms doing all the work. Yeah. Very, very good. There's like almost no idle time. Mm -hmm. This solution makes a ton of sense to me and it's impressive. Well done, Flame Haze. <laughs> I only needed one bonder too. Oh yeah, a lot of bonders. Ooh, stuff. That was something I was curious about. I was curious if anyone managed to do one bonder. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Mr. Puzzle said yeah, he I, dropped. I like, I like arm three. Dropped from four or three. He dropped it by quite a lot. I wanted to get sub four hundred because it's a nice number. Being able to mm -hmm. say sub X hundred is so satisfying. <laughs> we we the only sub four hundred actually. Sure if we were gonna see a sub four hundred, the only sub four hundred. Mr. Puzzle solved it. at three eighty one. I'd like to thank the Imperial University and my mom <laughs> and all. <laughs> This is your first first place solve, huh? <laughs> yeah, I believe so. Mm. Congratulations. A well deserved first place. I, I, I st I'm still not sure how you're able to keep the costs down so low with like six arms doing stuff. Mm, yeah. Just not me. It's single deep on. Yeah, single deep under. Yeah. I really like how, like, you can almost split this in half, and you got two halves. You got the debonding and the purification on one half, and you got the bonding and calcification on the other half, and it lets him run a pipeline so much more quicker. Yeah, it's cheap and fast. Uh, mm. Also, I'll I'll mention I was talking about a save for Vodaf uh, Voidify solution earlier. Uh, it's the same thing that I did for this solution. Um, him and me had a similar kind of output, but he had a second calcifier on the right. Mm, yeah. To speed it up. Mm -hmm. But you save some some points if you get rid of the calcifier and just take an extra cycle or two. Yeah. Glyphs are expensive. <laughs> and there's a lot of them in this puzzle. Yeah, I'm impressed. This manages to have only one bonder more mm -hmm. than the minimum. But that's a lot of arms. Yeah. But yeah, congratulations on first other place. Than... Thank you. Uh, and other than arm yeah. one, they're... other than arm one, uh, they're all pretty busy. Mm. So even arm one's yeah. doing. Even arm one's like he's, he's multifunctional. Yeah, it's at least it's not just pivoting. <laughs> it's doing a bit more than pivoting, and that's that's good enough. I really like how you got arms three and six to do like multiple stuff without needing track as well. Mm. Yeah. yeah, they they did have track, but oh. and yeah, while we're on Mr. Puzzle solve, yeah, everything actually, was placed very work was worth it. I'm gonna show a showcase solve by him. <laughs> Min cost. <laughs> We have a min cost. <laughs> min cost solves. This is a showcase. I was thinking by Mr. about Puzzle. whether. Yep, I was thinking about doing a showcase, and I was like, "Well, what about cost? Well, I'll need a dispersion glyph and a purifier." No, no wait a minute. I don't need the purifier. <laughs> There's silver there already. And then, and then I, and then I thought about it just a little bit longer, and had this most utter face of horror. 
as I realized that you you needed nothing. You basically needed nothing because everything's there. Well, at least you have I no also access. like how. <laughs> <laughs> I also like how this completely ruins the point of this puzzle, which was to safely disperse the uh, quintessence. Yeah, instead you just have a very dangerous stick of quintessence just swing and metals just swinging around. Okay, uh, I probably I'm probably not going to finish this solve because you it's cast. it's it's going to lag it's yeah, going to lag no, my game. You don't <laughs> you don't want to. It chugs real bad and the yeah. area goes up to the to the, so. It's yeah. awful. What's the final area count? Uh, thirty-eight thousand eight hundred and forty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. But yeah, now we're moving on. My computer on. can like barely handle ten thousand area. <laughs> that that could have been optimized for area a little bit by doing a waste ball, I guess. But I didn't feel mm, like yeah, I was, I was lazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. And big stick is easier. But yeah, moving on to track plus instructions. First of all, but well, first off, we have Dara Seven with a. Instruction count of 98. It's trackless instruction sum uh, sum of 98. If I can find that, so that, here we go. Ooh, big hex arm. Yeah, trackless instruction appeared to be a less approachable metric for everyone. Yeah. Because uh, it is a new metric, so like if this is your first trackless instruction puzzle, it's not the friendliest start. Mm -hmm. there, there seems to be a direction in chat that Steven solve or riot. Okay, uh, I'll, that is a good point. I'll, I'll try. I'll go find. I'll go find the Steven solves. <laughs> I should have them. I should have had them downloaded. But yeah, I'll. I'll let this play for now while I try to find the solves. Oh, is it is it lagging now? Yeah, I'll probably pause this. Let me I remember I had these downloaded. Stephen, are you sure you used the right puzzle a uh, dot puzzle file? Because I do already have your files downloaded. I can turn the sum results uh, spreadsheet into the uh, chats in the meantime. Yeah. We'll have a look at the numbers. Yeah, I do have the Stephen solves downloaded, which is weird. Except they're just not showing up for some reason. Yeah, if you, yeah it could be because it's a different version of the puzzle. So it's a different link to a different puzzle file. Oof. Well, Steven, you can always post your solves in the chat. <laughs> in GIF form. I think we're writing then. <laughs> but yeah, moving on with trackless instructions then. Next up we have. Damn, I gotta catch his gifts. <laughs> Next up we have Cuckoo Fifty Two with fifty four instructions. So the yeah, the, the I... metric count took a bit of a nosedive between mm -hmm. the between the two. I see arms rotating and doing a lot of nothing. <laughs> that started. It started to look like a TI solve. The less the arms do, the better. 
this arms go spinny everywhere. I wonder if arm 11 could be in. Oh no, it can't because it's too s the other copper is too slow. Yeah. Yeah, TI is difficult. Get takes some getting used to. I thought I uh, I thought we were gonna see more pistons in TI. Or, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I know they yeah there are pistons here, but I don't think there are that many pistons throughout uh, throughout T plus I. Yeah. I'm actually surprised by the amount of people that actually use tracks. <laughs> Cause I when solving myself I couldn't think of an advantage that I could gain by using them. But yeah. Next up is Jojo at 46 T plus I. Bad instructions. Ooh, that's that's a lot of arms. Oh, it's quite a slow salt too. You got the one in six T going on. Mm. I wonder what's the highest anyone got their uh Fractional denominator. Not too sure. I, I think we're uh, I think we get some pretty high fractions <laughs> as, we, <laughs> as, we, as we go up the oh, plus yeah. ranking. Zorflex was talking about your solve in the ch <laughs> in our group chat, Biggie. <laughs> Haven't seen it, but looking forward to it. <laughs> get ready for the single arm forty track one <laughs> over one hundred eighty <laughs> two. <laughs> I'm slightly disappointed no one actually tried to do a four instruction solve. Yeah, maybe it would have been. It would have. Maybe it would have been I decent. I thought it was in the list, but it might have been a showcase or someone. Uh, no, nobody did it. Rolandi didn't come in and <laughs> put in a four I solve. That's understandable. I think this puzzle's a bit of a pain to do in four I anyway. From yeah, judging by the looks of it. Okay, next up is Ebonov at 7th place with 44 track plus instructions. Oh yeah, congratulations to everyone who submitted for making the top 10. Yeah. <laughs> no one missed top 10. Anyone who made a TI specific solve, that is. Oh, that is a lot of hex arms. This is Ebonov's some solve, just reimagined with hex arms. I recognize the delivery process with the, the triple pivot and then the. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, Ebonov Sumsol had a low, fairly low instruction count to begin with, interestingly. Surprisingly yeah. adaptable to the T plus I metric. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see this thing, this here is needed to make sure things don't crash. Because that happens a lot in trackless instructions. The good thing is, when things crash, usually just putting the uh, clock instruction in is enough. <laughs> just throw it way ahead. Yeah. Next up is Britboy at 41. Some plus instructions. Ah, uh, I thought since this one was titled 4i t plus i, I didn't know. Ah, uh, yeah. I, 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 I think it said 41. Hmm. Arm 10 is doing a lot. Arm 10 is. Reminding me vaguely of my <laughs> week four solve, week four instruction solve. <laughs> just like all the other arms around. are like stop, step, stop, step, and arm tens just like just swinging around drunkenly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next up is username void with a 
one instruction improvement at 40. Let's see. Here we Panic go. for a second there. I thought you were going to say <laughs> one instruction solve. No. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait. Oh, only one. One, one moment. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Maybe rotate it while you're at it. Yeah. Yeah, that looks better. Oh, this is taking the common trope in <laughs> TI solves, which is build the shape first and then rebond it. It's really useful. That's all the hexons a single length for this one. Mm, yeah. Not to mention the very intricate web of bonders and unbonders at the end there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought we would see more of that actually. I don't think yeah. we see too much of that. That's really common in TI solves. But I guess mm. not so much for this puzzle. Oh, next up is my put my solve actually, but I don't think I have it loaded. Yeah, maybe I let me go try and find it actually. Let's see. Horn silver. Should be this one, I think. Let's see if it pops up. Here we go. Yeah, this one is my solve. It's got lots of long arms just rotating about. This one's at 38t plus i. And I had quite a bit of difficulty working here with the dispersion glyph, so there's a lot of arms just to get the salt on there. Probably could have saved a lot more instructions over here. And honestly, over here as well, it's... I'm not really satisfied with this solve, but it's a, it's a playtest solve and it works. <laughs> well, you posted this before you saw any of the solves come in, actually. Yeah. It Good performed... job with this. I like, I like the double arms. <laughs> mm, yeah. Oh, double arms to improve the cycle count. <laughs> Because this thing works, all if all of these were single arms, it would still work, but it would just be slower. We yeah. a surprising lack of ties in track plus instruction. I don't yeah, think we had a single tie. We haven't? Oh wow, yeah. No primary metric ties at all. Yeah, moving on, we have Mr. Puzzle at 36 instructions. Congratulations. Track those instructions. Congratulations on fourth place. Yeah. Well, this is the first solution to have tracks as well in track those instructions. I'm interested to see how that works out, actually.
Yeah, I thought the uh, the pivoting of the products to get all the uh, atoms on was a nice way to save instruction. Mm -hmm. I was wondering why arm 5 had to be on a track, and yeah, this silver here needs to be bonded up. So yeah, that does save instructions, I guess. Lots of arms rotating about. <laughs> yeah, I think when I first, first saw this, my uh, I, like my eyes were drawn to the track, and I'm like, oh, "Why is that there? Can you get rid of that?" And... <laughs> but no, you can't. Looks like you can, but you just can't. It's mostly because of that silver right there. Otherwise, the delivery should be done impossible without it. Yeah. Okay, next up is Spec 98 in third place with 35 TI. I believe that's third place on both metrics for Spec 98. Mm, nice. Excellent. Oh, I like how it uh, <laughs> inputs the. Uh, well, input. <laughs> And another track. Interesting. What, two tracks? Two track loops, huh? Yeah, I guess since maneuvering is really difficult for this puzzle, having tracks helps quite a bit by reducing the amount of arms you need and thus instructions. An interesting solve. Yeah, these are usually these are these are these are very these trackless instruction solves get very complex very quickly. Mm -hmm. And okay, next up is another showcase solve by Haxton with thirty-two instruct tracks plus instructions. So, about this solve, you see that it says prediction, right? We were told that we were told by Zorflax that Biggie's solve was inspired by Rolomni's solve in 2020 week three. So Haxton, without looking at what Biggie did, tried to make his own solve inspired by that. Yeah, I was kind of hinting that there was a very different way to go about trackless instructions on this puzzle that. Uh that at the time Biggie was the only one to pick up on and Haxton was inspired. He was like determined to find out for himself. Oh no. <laughs> Waste time. Actually, Ready? actually... This looks very fun. It's not identical, but it is very fun. Yeah. Uh, it actually does end up still being surprisingly different because it's got this yeah. carousel tactic going. Still, it does the thing Mr. Puzzles Caught Solve does, and only uses bonders and debonders. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just bye bye, contestants. All you need is silver and salt, and you already have silver and salt. Why would you bother doing anything that isn't moving the silver and salt? I like how it well, gets rid yeah. of the extra silver, though. The extra silver and salt just bonds them on. <laughs> That's really interesting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's conditional accumulation. Yeah. Like, once you go enough, you bond to your waste chain and get rid of it. And waste chains are like a blessing and a curse because it takes instructions to manage them, but it also allows you to freely dispose of things by just sticking them on the waste chain. Mm -hmm. This waste chain actually surprisingly doesn't use that much more. Yeah, it surprisingly doesn't actually use that much more. Of the this one. Instructions. Mm, this one's this one strongly reminded me of the, the Van de Bello's pivots in trackless instructions record. If All right, you've yeah. Seen that one before. Mm -hmm. And now that we've seen 
this solve, it's time for Biggie's solve at 29 track first instructions in second place, actually. Yeah, I've, I've been able to see that there's a number lower than my scroll. So yeah, I didn't I didn't win, but here we go. Thirty one over thirty six t. One over thirty six. <laughs> it takes uh, six loops of the instruction tape to extend the waist chain, and then everything else just kind of reshuffles the pieces sticking off the waist chain slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. Does that technically make this the least productive instruction yeah. loop that we've got? I think so. So I had it at 32 for oh, a while. And I got it all the way down under 30, where my goal was just to be under 30 because of some things Orflex had mentioned of like, Axton thought there wouldn't be anyone under 30. I was like, okay, so my goal is 29 now. Yeah, 30 is actually <laughs> really difficult. But yeah, under 30 is good Yeah, I, I don't know, because I'm looking at kind of a slideshow in Discord. It's hard to see anything. It's, it's hard to see anything in the the stick when it swings up. So it um, just kind of looks like things teleport into place. I mean, I have kind of the same effect on my game over here, even though it's not lagging. It just swings really fast. I mean, try to tap through that. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Oh. So you the can see... Silver's in... Sorry, you got it. I was just saying, you can see the progression from salt silver sticks to salt silver salt triplets and waste silver to a growing ball that looks like the output. And if you look all the way to the right, there's a, a silver, silver, salt silver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the part that looks like black magic to me. I How, how did <laughs> this top the part even... The silvers are bonded and unbonded to the stick. How did that top part even come in? kind of confused. So it's... At, at the 18 loops mark, it makes... No, it's, it's every 12, I guess. So that the 12 loops mark, it isolates one salt. At the 24 loops mark, it has bonded one salt silver salt to it. And at the 36 loops mark, it bonds the other salt silver salt to it. And that's all done in 11 instructions by our uh, 5, 6, and 7. Uh -huh. Oh, it does that. Bunts that onto there and detaches it for later. And when the stick moves on, it can detach that and uh, deliver it. Yeah, it's the biggie method of just stick stuff onto other stuff. I've, mm -hmm. I've, I've heard that <laughs> attributed to me. Eventually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like how when you look at some solves, it just like instantly makes sense visually, but with trackless instructions, it like makes the least sense visually. You have to like break it down to actually make any sense of it. Yeah, that, that's how instructions is. It's the same with production instructions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but when you have some, infinite okay. space, oh, yeah, right. you can be more cursed. <laughs> and, yeah. Finally, though, we have Fine Deer in first place. Oh, yeah. Congratulations on Biggie in second place, too. A. Thanks, and congrats Fine Deer on beating that. A well deserved cursed <laughs> second place. Never managed to beat you, Biggie, in tournaments, but now, at least, finally. Came in at the last minute. This is the last soul I had submitted, I believe. It's a normal TI solve. <laughs> a genuine approach. Surprisingly yeah. not cursed. It's I'm, like, I'm, yeah, well done. It handles dispersion really well. <laughs> That's the most difficult part, and it's done really well. Lots of people having their first times beating Biggie in this week. <laughs> Somewhat in my defense, I was not feeling as pressured as when there is a cumulative score to track, so I like this format a lot. Yeah. But also, I did try really hard on the track. So, <laughs> Pioneer's win is 
as genuine as if it had been in the tournament. Mm -hmm. Also interesting to note on this one, every single arm has three instructions. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just grab, rotate, and drop. With an extra one to make sure it doesn't crash. Yeah, I guess this is a case where the clock instruction is actually useful. And it's, it's, it's surprising you didn't need more arms to like <laughs> use that approach of every arm having three instructions and that you only needed nine arms to do the solution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was an absolute side effect. This uh, just happened in the end, but it worked out for every arm. Yeah. I didn't plan on it or something. <laughs> this is very surprisingly clean off for like all the track <laughs> plus instruction stuff we were getting that was, you know, kind of, you know, just four dimensional super chess stuff that we were getting. <laughs> and then this just comes in and wins. Oh, yeah, no, wait, that makes sense. Yeah, it's. Elegant. Dispersion is just hard to deal with. Mm -hmm. Getting anything to work with that is just makes it makes a good solve. It's <laughs> even though like two of the best, yeah, know, yeah, two of the other best solve just ignored dispersion though. <laughs> yeah. I am very happy that both winning solves worked rather elegantly with the glyph of dispersion. I feel somewhat justified. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, that would be all for this week. Now time for the reveal for next week. This puzzle by Haxton, Coven Blue. The metrics for this would be cycles and area, so we're back to normal metrics again for this week. The RPO says there are a few more showcase solutions. Oh, there are. Let me check, actually. Any non-solved solves? Oh, uh, there might not be. I should have gone through all of them already. Yeah. Yeah, no more. Yeah, I, I don't remember any more. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is the puzzle for next week. It's simply cycles and area, so... Yeah. Shouldn't Coming be too difficult. experimental next week. Yeah, yeah, we're getting really experimental next week after this one, so <laughs> get ready for that. This week's going to be a little break from all the experimental metrics. So, yeah. Thank you all for coming to the stream. <laughs> and thank you all for submitting. These are yeah. very fun to go through. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm looking forward to the stuff that... Uh, we've got in the weeks to come. You guys did awesome. Yeah. See y'all.